I start walking as a wire walker who is studying his cable. And instead of doing an entire study of the cable for the whole lens, seeing the first cavality and keep walking, seeing the middle, which is so soft and treacherous, seeing the second cavality, how it is. No, I do only go to the first cavality and I know enough. Now I'm going to perform. I saw his face changing. He was very tense and all of a sudden there was something uh, like a relief in him. And from that time I thought, that's it. He's secure, it's good. And wow, that's... Uh, that <laughs> J'ai vu Philippe là, oui, c'était extraordinaire. C'était tellement, tellement beau. C'était comme s'il marchait sur un nuage. Et il y a eu des moments extraordinaires. Il s'est couché. Et ça, c'était l'extase de voir cette euh, image de Philippe couché là-haut. Et puis l'autre moment très très fort, c'est quand il... Euh, il vous très... C'était tellement beau. Et euh, quand il s'est agenouillé, il y a un moment où il s'est agenouillé et il a salué. Et donc, euh, et donc je criais, regardez, regardez, et les gens ont commencé à, à se rassembler. Mais... Personne ne voyait. Et ils me disent, mais qu qu'est-ce qu que vous voyez Et je leur disais, mais un funambule, regardez, un funambule, il marche, il marche. I sit down on the wire in one of my crossings and I did something that amazed people. I actually look all the way down to look at something that I will never in my life see again. So I can tell you, and yes, probably it's a lie, but to me it's not. I heard the crowd. I saw the crowd. I hear them murmur. Beyond anything you can ever imagine, it's just mind-boggling. The awe of the event and the overwhelming largeness of the scale of the situation took my mind into a place where I really wasn't that concerned about him. It just, it, it was magical. It was just, uh, it was just profound. Officer Myers and I observed the, uh, tightrope dancer, because you couldn't call him a walker, uh, approximately halfway between the two towers. And uh, upon seeing us, he started to smile and laugh. They don't know how to react to a daydreaming wire walker laying down and dialoguing with a seagull, so they were really mad. Uh, Philippe has made des provocations, of uh, course, because it's his work, it's his character, in plus. C'est-à-dire qu'il se rapprochait et les gardiens voulaient le saisir ou les policiers, je ne me souviens plus si c'était policier. Et là, à ce moment-là, il faisait demi-tour, donc il devenait inaccessible puisque les gardiens n'allaient pas monter sur le câble. When he got to the building, we asked him to get off the high wire, but instead he turned around and ran back out into the middle. Everybody was spellbound in the uh, watching of it. When we observed to the fact that he wasn't about to come in because he seemed to be enjoying it so much, we mentioned the fact to his associate that if he did not come in, we would have a helicopter pluck him up off of the wire. At which time, his uh, associate uh, spoke to him in French, uh, being that he's a Frenchman. Philippe! You know, and he said, the police are going to dislodge you and you should stop. And I was, I was, I was madly uh, enraged by that, but also it saved my life. There is somebody out there in a tightrope walk between the two towers of the World Trade Center, right at the tippy top. I personally figured I was watching something that somebody else would never see again in the world. Thought it was once in a lifetime. I had no reason 
to stay on that wire anymore, and also I felt <laughs> humidity in the air and the wind growing. My friends later told me, you spent 45 minutes. They said, you know, you did eight crossings. They grabbed me and they, they grounded me, handcuffed, actually, hands in the back. I was thrown down the staircase, the most dangerous part of this whole adventure. I almost break my head on the narrow staircase that lead to the elevator. Well, we got up in the Port Authority that it took about three days to rig it up. Uh, I say it's about $1,000 worth of cable. Uh, and the rigging outfit itself, it's magnificent the way he did it. Did he say anything about why he was doing it? No. Why did you do it? I will, I will explain. I will take the time to say. You know, why, why? And that was a very, again, in my way of seeing America, a very American finger-snapping question. I did something magnificent and mysterious, and I got a practical why. And the beauty of it is that I didn't have any why. Why did you do this? Oh, that's the thousand uh, why in this morning. There is no why. I was then taken for a psychiatric examination by a psychiatrist. It was a sort of grand paillasse scientific where the fous circulaient autour. And it's always the same, we're in the middle of real fous, quand même. Et nous, on n'est pas fous, on est des vedettes, alors... Euh... I keep asking for water, because I was so dehydrated. And he said, when was the last time you drank? And I said, are you crazy? You mad? I mean, do you know what I did? I danced at the top of the world. I am in the front page of all the world. You know, the 300 journalists are waiting to talk to me. And you're asking me, when was the last time I, I drank? You're completely mad. So he wrote, you know, the guy is completely normal and he's just very thirsty. And... Police took a humorless view of the act. They took Pettit and a companion into custody and finally decided to charge them with trespassing and disorderly conduct. The district attorney offered me a deal, and he said, Philippe, if you agree to do a little show, but you know, like juggling three oranges in front of four kids, but on camera, uh, the New York uh, news and all that, uh, then, then we'll drop all the charges. So I said, sure. And now I climbed down the steps of the Palais de Justice. I saw in the crowd an admirer. She was smiling beautifully and she came to me and she put her hands on, on my neck in a, in a loving way and she amorously said, uh, Philippe, I would like to be the first you person to, to welcome you and to, you know, to celebrate with you and, and, and let, let, let's, I, I can follow you anywhere. So yes, it did end up on a, on a waterbed in a loft somewhere. But here I went for a, a, a very short little moment of, of, of uh, I don't know, of, of uh, pleasure of the flesh. How, how disgusting. But, 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 I am sorry, how beautiful too. I mean, my friends were waiting for me. Annie, my girlfriend, is, it was a betrayal of my friends. I, I remember I called and said, you know, I have many interviews to do, so I'll see you soon this magnificent explosion of pleasure, let's say it, and then I went back, oh, frightened to death, you know, to my friends, thinking I'm really, I'm really a guilty guy. J'ai vu Philippe découvrir ce que c'est que la popularité, euh, être reconnu, être reconnu en plus euh, avec des signes d'amitié, avec des signes d'enthousiasme, les gens traversaient la rue pour lui dire, oh, quel cadeau vous nous avez fait, c'était tellement beau, c'était une bouffée d'air, merci. C'était extraordinaire et je pense que dans la tête de Philippe, beaucoup de choses changeaient. I am a celebrity in New York. People uh, say, are you the guy uh, who uh, walked between the uh, Twin Towers? I say, yeah, yeah, it's me. I say, this is incredible. And then some people say, are you the guy who? I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people say, are you the guy? I say, yeah, yeah, it's me. Alors, la sentence du juge a quand même été, j'ai trouvé assez sévère, c'est que j'ai été expulsé des États-Unis. J'étais condamné à être expulsé. We talked about it in the plane and Jean-François, he saw it.